Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sward, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today is day nine, just part one of the 2021 Advent of Code competition slash just puzzle solving extravaganza. This problem is called Smoke Basin. And let's take a look at the problem and then look at the code at the same time. So there are lava tubes. I, you know, like it's always like, do you care so much about the theme? I kind of do. So there's basically, it's a height map we have here. And basically what we're trying to do is for every member of our, in our graph here, our, our, our list of lists or however you organize this thing, I'm going to look to my left, my right, and my up and my down, kind of like Minesweeper, but not quite because we don't do diagonals like Minesweeper does. And we're just checking to see is basically is, Am I, is, am I, when I'm checking a specific element, am I the smallest one in my group of, of me up, down, left, and right? So like you can see kind of here, the five is, this, is true because it's smaller than the eight, it's smaller than the eight, it's smaller than the six, smaller than the six, and things like this. This one is not true because obviously six is not larger than nine, and nine is not smaller than nine, and so forth and so on. So you're only trying to go through and find those elements and my data set of course looks humongous and there's a whole ton of numbers and it's a hundred by a hundred and so this thing will work for n by m by n i guess is how i look into it um, but then the goal is to find all those points and then add them up and figure out what the sum of all the small of the low the lowest points are that's the goal of this problem so getting the data in can be challenging sometimes so just so just to go here just to run this and you can see my data when it comes up that I just turned it into oops, there's a huge thing but oops, never mind <laughs> thought I was doing being helpful here but this thing is turning out to be a two-dimensional array if you want to think of it that way a list in a list of lists and there I don't know if they're all 100 by 100 or whatever I've never really looked into it but I don't necessarily care but I but at this point I have everything like I'm supposed to do okay let me clear that out so when we do this do this later doesn't much matter so now I know I'm going to need a function I don't know if you know a better way you guys are getting better at or better you guys are good at helping me out and making me better as a programmer um, so like if you know a better way to do this please let me know but basically I'm giving I'm, I'm if I'm given a data set like a list of lists I'm given an x value and I'm given a y value what is the data at that location? What is the actual value stored there? And for me, it's not so easy because if I go outside the range, either to the left or to the right or to the top or to the bottom, then I'm going to get something weird. I'm either going to get a crash, like an exception is going to be thrown, or the thing's going to wrap around and give me the wrong data. So I have to make sure that the bounds of my X and my Y are appropriate. And if not, then I'm just going to return a large number, larger than the 0 through 9 that these elements are, because then because then you're going to be smaller than that and that because everything outside is basically tens. That's how that's how I think of it anyway. And well, I could have even done eh, whatever. I could have I could have done things a lot of different ways, but I got it done in 10 or 11 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. Uh, how many minutes did I get it done? Just curious. Didn't even pay attention if you did it. Let's see. 1251. So yeah, so there you go. Um, okay. So Okay, so then if it's if it's in the range, then I return the data value, otherwise I return a 10. That's where I'm getting with here. And then basically all I'm doing is saying for every x, y uh, pair in my in my uh, in my data set, go ahead and look to it, um, look to the right, look to the left, look to the bottom or look below and look above, and go ahead and get that value. And if it's less than keep counting, keep counting, keep counting. And if you get to the if you get through all four of these data points and you end up with four values that are smaller than you know that or my data point is smaller than all four values, and then according to this you add one plus the data set and you move on and just keep going and going and going and going and going, and eventually you go through everything and for the sample set you get 15, but for mine I get 458 and just to prove it works for me, there oops I breakpoint get rid of breakpoint and there's my 458 uh, and I'm pretty much good to go the only line I didn't have while I was going that was the printing of the total okay so that is my solution for day nine part one uh, as always please comment below if you can make my code better you can help me out so I could do do things better in the future help my Python I'm trying to help you guys 
I, I would love it if you guys can help me too, since this is just something that I'm uh, kind of doing as a side fun thing here. So as always, thanks for sticking it out with me. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope to have part two done. I think I'm going to finish it sometime tomorrow morning. I'll look into it. I am not staying up late like I did last night. So thanks, everybody. Take care. See you in the next videos. See you then.